So I recently picked up all three seasons of Friday the 13th, the series, on DVD. With the 40th anniversary of the film series upon us, I thought now would be a good time to revisit the old TV show and share a review of the pilot episode. So first, a quick word about the TV series. It ran from 1987 to 1990, and although it's billed as Friday the 13th, the series, it actually has nothing at all to do with Jason or Camp Crystal Lake. But it does have a lot of behind-the-scenes connections to the film franchise. The series was co-created by Jason producer Frank Mancuso Jr. The theme song and scores were composed by Fred Mullen, who also did music for Fridays Part 7 and 8, and various episodes of the series were done by Tom McLaughlin and Rob Hedden, who directed Friday No. 6 and Friday No. 8, respectively. Also, the promotional material uses the same title style as the film series, and one of the stars of the show, John D. LeMay, would later appear in Jason Goes to Hell, playing a different character, of course. I actually used to watch the Friday the 13th series when I was a little kid during the original run. I remember really liking it, even though it was hard for me to accept the fact that there was no Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th TV show. So I don't remember watching every single episode back then, and this pilot episode I probably haven't seen since it originally aired on October 3rd, 1987. Called The Inheritance, we begin with a family coming into an old antique shop to get out of a storm. They meet the owner, Louis Vendrelli, who seems upset, but reluctantly agrees to let them come in and look around. The little girl is a real brat and is played by Sarah Pauly from the Dawn of the Dead remake. So she finds a creepy doll that she just must have and even tries to run off with it. She goes outside and it turns out that the doll is alive. A couple of guys check up on her and the doll attacks. <laughs> Good stuff for regular TV. So she eventually goes back inside and gets in trouble, and Lewis ends up throwing the entire family out. Apparently he made a deal with the devil that involves selling cursed antiques. In exchange, he would get wealth and eternal life. But apparently he wants to go against the deal now, as he suddenly developed a conscience. And, well, things don't go over too well. So Lewis is killed, and we then meet his niece, Mickey, and her cousin, Ryan, who inherit his store. They end up deciding to sell everything they can for dirt cheap, including the creepy doll, to the dad from earlier in the episode. Jack, Lewis's former friend and business partner, shows up and reveals to Mickey and Ryan that Lewis dabbled in black magic, devil worshipping, and all that kind of stuff. So the three of them discover that Lewis's curse was indeed real, and all the items that he sold and Mickey and Ryan sold earlier are all actually cursed and evil. They vow to get all the items back, starting out with that evil doll from the beginning of the episode. So the little girl has it now and is growing increasingly evil, and we get lots of cool scenes with the doll attacking people. And honestly, this doll puts Annabelle to shame. You know, your mommy's really very mean to you. I think that maybe she should be punished, don't you? So our heroes eventually save the day and lock the evil doll up. And that's the setup, this group fighting evil and retrieving different cursed objects. This is a really solid pilot episode. The cast is great and the characters are very likable. Technically, it's very well done and we have some great effects work too. There's also some cheesy stuff mixed in, which only adds to that 80s charm. Speaking of 80s, I really love the musical score by Fred Mullen as well. It sounds a lot like his work in the Friday films, and it's just great. So yeah, a great episode. If I were to rate it, I would give it 5 out of 5. And I'm really looking forward to checking out the rest of the series. Now I will say, if the interest is there, I would gladly review every episode of the series as I watch it. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'm leaving it entirely up to you. So thanks for watching, and if you ever get a chance, check out this fun and scary 80s horror show.